Hi ladies, I've already made another screencast about how to create your group and um, kind of set that up. But this one is a little bit more detailed about how to personalize your name in your group. So the first thing I want you to do is go here to the three dots and when you click on that and click on edit group settings, you see that I'm on our page, but um, group name is Jewels of Inspiration, group type, I don't mess with that so I'm going to leave that alone. Um, this one is for, oops, there we go, let me scroll back up. This one's for my daughter so I have it as a secret group. I don't really want anyone trying to find it or anything. Um, I'll add our 1010 into this group myself. Um, I usually have, and, and let's make believe this is your group for your customers and your guests and your hostesses. Um, I say that any member can add members, but I must approve them. Okay, so I, I let other people add, but I have to approve. And this is where I want to show you right now where it says web and email address. Okay, so I want to bring you to this right here where it's going to say web and email address. You may have already done this, but if you didn't do this, um, it'll appear. If you did do it, this option won't even be here. But you want to customize the address that way. Um, right now, if you were to copy paste your link, it would be all these numbers and letters and it's just so confusing. So you want to change it to whatever your group's name is. Since our group name is Jewel Jewels of Inspiration, that's what I'm going to make it. Jewels of Inspiration. And that's it. So if your group's name is Jewelry Fashion Parties with Jennifer, which is mine, that's my um, name. So what you see it does is you would copy paste your group web address would be facebook.com slash groups slash whatever you name it. You see that? So it's going to be the same for all of us. All of us are going to have our address www facebook.com slash groups slash and then that's where it gets personal right here if it's not available like someone else has that web address it won't let you but if it's available then it will allow it to go through this is really important because now you can print this on your business cards okay because it's an actual nice looking web address and not just numbers and jumbled letters and really long so there I press customize and now that's it. So now you see, you see it up here, it shows my web address for my group. You see how I can just very easily um, highlight this, copy paste it into an email. Let me just show you how it, hit, how it would look if I were to copy paste this into a message. Let me just, I don't know, send it to, can I send it to myself? Oh, I'll send it to my other profile. So see, I copy pasted it. Now I'm going to press enter and it shows one second One second. It shows my um link right there for someone. The cupcake is ready. Okay. Thank you. It shows my link. That's my daughter. Cupcakes are ready. Um it shows that someone if I send this to someone they can just click right into it. Okay? So that's really important to know. Um let's go back to the little dots. You want to also, let's go back to edit group settings again, see if there's anything else there. You want to put a description. Yes, definitely want to put a description. For my group, for my daughters, I made it personal, like, hey, this is a home base for us, a place where we can all virtually meet. Um, for your group, you want to say, hey, this is a place where I'm going to share ideas and tips and tricks. This is not a sales group. This is not that kind of place. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a community. Okay. That's pretty much all I want to click. Um, over here, members and admins can post to the group, um, but then all group posts must be approved by the admin. I usually click on that just because, um, I don't know, you, you don't want to give liberty to someone to just post on your on your page um, without you approving it, okay? So I would say approve it. That's just a personal decision, but that's what I would do. Anything else up here? That's perfect. So you would save, okay? Let's go now to manage group. And here you, if people ask to be in your group, you would see them right here listed pending. I usually keep track of that really good. And as soon as someone requests, I accept them. Um, if they don't have mutual friends with someone already in the group, I kind of just look in their profile, make sure it's someone that seems legit. Um, usually if they don't have mutual friends, it's not legit. So you want to just look a little bit. Um, 
especially if there's no picture and they have no friends and they just joined Facebook like yesterday, you may just want to say no. Um, that's why I want to make sure I approve people before they join. Okay. Member requests, um, request notifications. I, I click on get notifications when people ask to join. Okay. Um, just a little tip. Whenever I make these videos, you may want to play them on your phone while you follow along with me on whatever website I'm doing. Um, that should be pretty easy to follow along and just have to watch it that one time. Okay. Um, another thing I just wanted to show you is that you can add people to the group right here on this side. People's names would pop up. You would just click on them or you would start typing them. Um, you can also message people within here and you can invite by email. So if you only have people's emails and you don't have, you know, their face, you're not Facebook friends with them already and you just have their email, you can actually click invite by email and paste in their email address and they will get an email inviting them to the group. So this is something you may want to do to all those former customers and guests and hostesses that you may not have um, on your Facebook page. Okay, even though my big suggestion is to send an actual text because it's more personal, I don't really know. What, you know what? I'm going to actually invite myself. Let's see. I'm going to send this email to myself so I could see what it looks like. You may want to do the same. Um, okay, so I'm like inviting myself. Oh, I'm already a member. Okay, can I? I have a couple of email addresses. Let's see. So I'll just invite myself to see what that looks like. Um, but I don't think it's going to be personalized. It's not going to like be like the text you would send saying, hey, just wanted to let you know I have a group now on Facebook. I'd love for you to join. Here's the direct link. And because we made our um, web addresses personal now, you can send that and it looks pretty as well because it's the name of your group. Okay. So that's about it for groups. Um, don't forget you also have here members. Or you can see all the members. Another thing, if it says added, that means the person has actually clicked on the notification and has looked into your group. If it still says invited and not added, that means they haven't really been added to your group, if that makes sense. Um, events, you can create events from your group. You can have photos and albums in your group. And you can actually upload files like, um, you know, like Word documents and PDFs. You can upload files. So just in case you didn't know, we do have all these things in our group. If you go to files, I've uploaded a bunch of files. Um, and there's, I think there's some albums. There's photos and albums. You can go back. Like if you wanted to get something that I posted and you don't remember where it is, you can go back and look. And then discussion is your actual wall where everything is happening. What I love is when the group is still small, you can actually see who has seen it. You see how it says seen by four, and I know that four of you have already seen this post. Once the group gets like too many, I think it's over 400 people, you can't see that anymore. So that's the downside of your group getting too big. But of course, you know, the upside of that is that your, that your group is big. So, but at the beginning, it's really nice to see that people are actually seeing it. Okay. Um, so there's, I, I know there's a few that you haven't seen, but, um, go in here. This is going to be my main way of communicating. Okay. So that's it on this webcast. Hope this was, um, informative. Thanks ladies.